Recently, a teacher in my mathematics department asked if I could develop a set of modules for her that helped her students practice calculating change when they were shopping. Here are the eight modules that I developed for her. They are designed to be projected up onto either an interactive whiteboard or onto any board and students are able to come up and write in their answer, in this case 25 cents, and then at the appropriate time they can click on the checkbox and check their answer is correct. Pressing the question mark button will create um, a new question each time and this allows a particular question to be drilled. Because these modules are in flash, four or five of these modules can be put on the board at once, reduced in size, and a quick quiz can be generated where students can write down their answers and then immediately check to see if they're correct. I'll quickly run through and show you the levels of questions in the eight modules. We won't take long over this. Set number two, it simply has questions in a different place or answers in a different place. Set number three, subtracting from a dollar and you'll notice that all of these questions are subtracting from a dollar. Each set focuses on one particular skill. Set four, you'll notice that this is slightly different. You've got change from a dollar and that's five cents. How much must have, you, must have been paid for the item? And there's the answer up there that students can work out. And I'll just finish off the last few sets quickly. These ones are for numbers greater than a dollar. But the similar principle applies. This last question was the one that creates quite a lot of interest in students and they often get this wrong because they will often subtract two from seven for example and expect the answer to be five dollars and eighty five cents when in fact it's four dollars and eighty five cents and soon with a little practice students usually can understand why this is the case.